Hi guys, Justin from JRT Studio here, and this week I wanted to uh, cover some of Rocket Player's really cool headset settings. And so, you know, if you only use your phone speaker, uh, well, I, I don't know you, because I think everyone uses a wired headset or a Bluetooth headset to uh, listen to music um, with their Android device. And Rocket Player has several useful settings um, to automate things and make things better. So let's go check them out and I'll give you a, a description beyond what you can just read yourself. Um, so we're going to open up the settings and we're going to go to headset Bluetooth settings. Okay, so there's obey headset commands at the top, and this setting is really the, the master for everything beneath it. You'll notice that if we go and unclick this setting, everything else just kind of goes blank. Well, because everything else is useless if you don't want Rocket Player to obey headset commands. So the, the main... The, first section we have here is uh, the wired connection settings which you can kind of see right up here. Um, the wired connection settings are again for like plugging in a pair of headphones so not Bluetooth. Um, the, the very first one is begin play on connect um, and this one's on by default because we find most users want to use uh, this feature to go ahead and just get something jamming when you plug your headphones in. Um, and, and you know that annoys some users and so feel free to come in here and turn this off and, and do whatever you'd like and you can see now that I've turned on uh, begin play on connect I can hit wired connect volume and with this I can p can pick a volume uh, that I want Android to be at uh, there are no numbers or anything here I use just you know the max and min of your system volume um, and if I click enable it's now enabled so every time I plug my headset in uh, we're going to change the volume to this when the headset plugs in. Also have wired EQ override um, and there's both a 5 and 10 band version so uh, this version that I have on this phone right now is not unlocked so I definitely only have access to the 5 band EQ but I can pick heavy metal and now every time I plug in my wired headset it's going to jump to about that 75 percent volume I set and it's going to immediately turn on the heavy metal EQ for the whole time that the wired headset's plugged in. Um, and, and you know, this is great. I, I love using this in my car because when I'm in my car, I, I spent some time to try and get the most bass out of my speakers that I can. And so I have a preset that I made that's called like car bass. And then I, I always have that one come up when I plug my headset in. Um, and then there's also two clicks next. Um, this setting is um, if you have a pair of headphones with the single button clicker on it um, by default uh, we do pause and play with one click and we go to the beginning of the song with two clicks and we go to the next song with three clicks and some people say well I go to the next song more often than the beginning of the current one so I want that one to be two clicks instead and that, that's what this setting is for um, then we have basically the exact same things for Bluetooth you can have uh, begin play on connect with Bluetooth. You can set a volume um, and an equalizer just like you can with a wired headset. And then lastly, I have a uh, Bluetooth strict mode, uh, which is a, a really new setting. But the, the issue here is um, that some car stereos, they try to be too smart. They try and send commands to Android telling Android what it should do and it gets Rocket Player all confused and some funky stuff can happen. At the end of the day, I can't tell you whether or not you should click this setting. All I can say is use Rocket Player naturally with your car stereo. If you see some funky stuff going on, give this setting a try. Um, and hopefully, either with this setting on or off, we're going to work with your car stereo. Um, the very last thing, the miscellaneous, is uh, support volume controls. This really only applies to wired headsets. But some wired headsets um, have like a, a next previous and sometimes that next previous is volume. And, and I don't really know which you want to do uh, and there's no way for me to detect. So you have this setting down here. If you, now if you select support volume controls, if you're using say Bluetooth, 
and you have next previous, it's going to change the volume. It's not going to do next previous. So um, it, it's one of these little quirks that the setting is here just to help you mainly, again, for wired headsets with volume buttons on the wired headsets and a single click where you can, you know, click three times or two times if you set the setting to go to the next song. Um, so yeah, just a little quirky there. So that's that's it for this week. Uh, I just wanted to walk through the settings and uh, give you guys an idea of the powerful uh, things you can do, the automation that you can do uh, when interacting with headsets. And all of this is built into Rocket Player. All of it's free. I, I don't charge for any of this stuff. Um, so feel free to try it out the next time you're listening to music. So again, if you enjoy these uh, these tips and tricks, feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks a lot. Bye.